Number two, after having the specific objective, number two is prepare yourself spiritually. Prepare yourself spiritually. This means that you need to confess and repent of all sins that the Holy Spirit may bring to your remembrance, the obvious, the obvious one, and those that are not obvious to you. Remember the Bible says that it's our sin that separates us with God. And now that you have made an objective that you are going to meet God, you need also to think of the sins that you have committed. And pray that God will reveal to you through the Holy Spirit some of the sins that you have committed knowing and unknowingly. So that you repent them so that there will be nothing blocking you to reach the presence of God. And therefore you need to prepare yourself spiritually, repenting of all your sins. Whatever first and whenever you do it, it is important that you prepare well for it. And as you prepare well for it, you must ensure that you do it you prepare yourself spiritually. When you read the book of some scripture, you could meditate upon, for example, if you remember the book of uh, Psalms 51, which says, create in me a new heart, when David has committed adultery. You can take Psalms 51 and meditate on before you are prepared, before you are praying and fasting. Psalms 51, it's a very good book for preparation spiritually as you focus on your prayer and fasting. Number three, prepare yourself physically. And allow me to say that reduce your food intake gradually as you approach your fast. It is not wise to overeat just a day to your prayer and fasting. So you need to prepare yourself physically, in your mind, in your body, so that when the prayer and fasting start, you are a bit ready and prepared physically. You know, somebody 